Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa delegated Southern Governor His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa to visit Kuwait and offer condolences to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah Al Ahmed Al Sabah, and Kuwaiti Crown Prince Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, and Kuwait's Prime Minister Sheikh Jabir Al Mubarak Al Hamad Al Sabah, as well as senior royal family members on the passing of the mother of the Kuwaiti's Premier, Wadha Ali Abdurrahman Al Munir. His Highness Sheikh Ali conveyed the condolences of, of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the Kuwaiti leadership and prayed uh, to the Almighty to rest her soul in eternal peace. For their part, the Kuwaiti leadership expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for the, his noble sentiments, which reflect the brotherly relations that bind the two countries. They also wished His Royal Highness abundant health and happiness and to the Kingdom of Bahrain and its people for their progress and advancement. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, patronized the opening of 100 years of formal education in the Kingdom of Bahrain form. Organized by the Ministry in cooperation with the UNICEF in the presence of the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, Hala Al Ansari, and a number of officials at various sectors as well as academic and educational personalities from inside and outside of the Kingdom. The Minister of Education delivered a speech in which he noted that the forum comes as part of many events organized by the Kingdom to celebrate this grand national occasion, which is the uh, centennial of education, congratulating His Majesty the King on the occasion. For her part, the President of the Forum's Organizing Committee and President of Midpoint Board of Directors, Sheikh Anoura bint Khalifa Al Khalifa, also delivered a speech in which she stated that the participation of the UNICEF in the Forum is the first of its kind and that the Forum aims to promote the educational achievements made during the reign of His Majesty the King. She expressed thanks to the Minister of Education and all the Ministry's affiliates for their support to the Forum's success. The Minister of Education gave a presentation titled 100 Years of Formal Public Education from Al Hidayah Al Khalifiyah to Digital Empowerment, which highlighted the stages of the National Education March development. The Minister noted that the Kingdom held an international pioneering educational status that was affirmed by many renowned international reports. The Minister of Oil highlighted the role of the oil sector in the development march since the discovery of oil in the Kingdom in 1932, noting the main required specialties in the oil sector. For her part, Hal Al Ansari affirmed the role of Bahraini women in establishing the educational status in Bahrain over 90 years, noting that Bahraini women were able to prove their capabilities, especially in the educational march. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa patronized the graduation ceremony of the 11th batch of the AMA International School and deputized the Minister of Education Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi to attend the ceremony held at the Gulf Hotel in the presence of the Special Envoy of the Philippines President to the Gulf Cooperation Council of the GCC countries Dr. Amabel Aguilus and uh, the Assistant Undersecretary for Information and Follow-up at His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's Court Dr. Brahim Indusiri. The minister conveyed the greetings and congratulations of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the graduates and their family and his wishes of further success. He hailed His Royal Highness' support of education in the kingdom, considering it a key pillar of development and prosperity, as well as His Royal Highness's encouragement to invest in the private education sector. And Naimi pointed out that the National Educational March has taken great strides thanks to the support of the leadership of the country. He also noted that the ministry has been able to develop its services in public and private private education. For his part, the Special Envoy of the Philippines President gave a speech in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for patronizing the ceremony, noting the school's efforts in developing its services. He highlighted the development of the Bahrain Educational March thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He also congratulated the Kingdom on the occasion of the centennial of formal education. A number of graduates then delivered speeches in which they expressed pleasure with the occasion and praised His Royal Highness for patronizing the ceremony. 
The Bahrain Economic Development Board, the EDB's chief executive, Khaled Ramehi, today welcomed the fourth intake of the Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister, the OFDPM Fellowship, for a roundtable discussion. During the meeting, he highlighted the importance of the OFDPM Fellowship in strengthening the leadership and management skills of Bahrainis working in the public sector in line with Bahrain Economic Vision 2030's goal of placing citizens at the center of the kingdom's development efforts. He went on to outline the EDP's role in areas of focus as well as its efforts in attracting investment in key sectors such as financial services, tourism, ICT, manufacturing, transport and logistics. He concluded the meeting by encouraging the OFDPM fellows to take advantage of the opportunities that the program offers and wish them every success. In turn, the fellows extended their thanks to the chief executive for outlining the EDB's various projects.